Break out of the box with Fitzy, the digital pets you can really touch. But before you can start playing with all 15 of your Bitsy pets, you're going to need to get this awesome new toy unboxed. To begin, ask an adult for help and get scissors. Then, lift and cut off the Try Me Pull tab. Next, cut the tape tabs on the bottom side of the packaging. Lift the flap on the lower portion of the back of the packaging. Cut the tape tabs on the sides of the packaging. Now lift and flip the top half of the packaging from back to front and lift inner portion of packaging and Bitsy Pod from the outer packaging. Flip over and pull open bottom of cardboard packaging and take out QR code instructions and quick start guide with collector sheet on the flip side. Cut the tape that connects blister to cardboard and pull the cardboard away from blister. Flip blister upside down and cut ties connecting blister to the pod. Open pod and pull remaining portion of pull tab from your Bitsy Pod's lid. Once you've got that handled, then it's time to exit the Try Me mode that your Bitsy comes in. To do that, make sure the pod is opened, then remove this sticker. Next, it's just one easy swipe from left to right on the swipe bar. Whoa, your first Bitsy is already here to meet you. Hiya, pup! Ready to have some fun? Caution, when playing with your Bitsy, do not poke, grab, or pull the flexible display. Only touch the display gently from above. Never fold or twist the flexible display or push backwards into the pod. The next step to learning to play with your awesome new Bitsy is following the tutorial that appears on the screen. Petting your Bitsy is the first way to show it how much you love it. To pet a Bitsy, you need to be careful to always touch it from above. The best way is to place a finger above the display like this and then pet down and towards you on your Bitsy's head, like this. Ah. Don't do this. Oh, little pupper, you love that, don't you? Ah. When the green check mark appears, that means you've passed that section of the tutorial. Once you've got the touch, this symbol appears because it's time to try tilting your Bitsy to the left or right. Ah. Whoa, your pup needs a little nap. Next up, this symbol means try tilting your Bitsy forward and backward. The puppy fell forward. This symbol means that it's time to try shaking your Bitsy. Just try shaking the pod gently like this. Uh-oh. Looks like that made your puppy dizzy. So silly. This symbol means let's try lifting our Bitsy pod up quickly. Awesome! Your puppy has some serious hops. Next, it's time to learn all about the swipe bar on the front end of your Bitsy pod. This symbol means that you should try swiping your finger across the swipe bar to enter the main menu. Again, for the best swipes, brush your finger quickly across the whole swipe bar. If you swipe too slowly, or only on half of the swipe bar, the swipe may not work. <gasps> oh, we got the feed icon! This symbol means that you should touch the food icon to feed your Bitsy. Great news! You've finished the Learn to Play tutorial. Now you're ready to play with your Bitsy. Hip hip hooray! The more you play with your Bitsy pet, the more you fill up their love meter. When you fill the love meter of a Bitsy, it will evolve from baby to adult. Fill it again, and it will evolve from adult to Super Bitsy. Super cool! Each Super Bitsy has a game we'll show you how to play later in this video. Each Super Bitsy gives you a new treat, too! Use the new treats to attract more Bitsy and collect all 15 characters. See if you can unlock them all! When you're ready to attract a new Bitsy, just swipe through the menu until you see the treat jar. If you have treats, touching the treat jar will open it and show your treats. Now, swipe through your treats and touch a treat to attract a new Bitsy with it. Bitsy pro tip, you start with two extra treats in your treat jar. Double pro tip, specific treats attract specific Bitsy characters. It's so much fun to see what pets are going to want which treats. When a new Bitsy eats the treat you've offered, they are added to your collection. Are you excited to see if you can collect all 15 Bitsy? The common Bitsy are easier to collect, but others are rare. Some are even so rare, they're legendary! You can play with any of the Bitsy you've collected at any time by swiping to the menu. Swipe to the house icon and touch to select. Swipe through your available Bitsy and touch any of them to start playing with them. 
Occasionally, your Bitsy will send a message if they need something. Don't ignore these messages or you could lose a character. When a need message appears, touch the message icon like this to address it. Or if you want, swipe to ignore it, but risk losing your Bitsy. There are four types of need messages. Love messages look like this and mean your Bitsy needs love. Touch to pet them. Poop messages look like this and mean your Bitsy pooped. When you see a poop message, you should touch to select the message and then swipe to clean up the mess. Feed messages look like this and mean that your Bitsy is hungry. When you see this, just swipe to the feed icon and touch it to feed your Bitsy. Sleep messages look like this and mean that your Bitsy is tired. When you see this type of message, tilt your Bitsy pod left to right to rock them to sleep. Aw, sweet dreams, little Bitsy. Ignored need messages appear as red exclamation marks over the Bitsy pet with the need. Ignore too many need messages and your Bitsy will run away. Really? OMG, little Bitsy, don't go. Where the heck did you learn to drive anyway? Well, there's still hope. You can always attract a runaway Bitsy back with their favorite treat. Just go to your treat jar and the runaway's treat has returned for you to use to attract another baby version of that Bitsy. The best part about evolving your Bitsy, the Super Bitsy games. Every Super Bitsy has a unique game that it will play with you. Wanna play? First, swipe to enter the menu, then swipe to the Super Bitsy game icon. All you've got to do is touch the game icon to play. Rocket Pup. Touch and hold the swipe bar to move Pup up and release the swipe bar to move Pup down. Avoid objects, the tunnel restores shields, and enter the wormhole to complete the game. That's pretty epic. Hedgehog Gymnast. Follow the prompts to make your hedgehog perform tricks. Touch, shake, and swipe. Clownfish Surfer. Follow the prompts to make your clownfish perform tricks. Touch, shake, and swipe. Cowabunga, dude! Rabbit Magician. Touch the swipe bar below the cup that you think hides the ball. Abracadabra! Snail Racer. Touch left or right on the swipe bar to avoid cars and trucks as you race down the road. Poodle Fashionista. Swipe left and right to choose a hat. Touch the display to confirm. Swipe left and right to choose an outfit. Touch the display to confirm. Turtle Border. Touch the swipe bar to make the turtle jump. Holy cow, that turtle has skills! Butterfly Gardener. Follow the prompts to help your butterfly grow flowers. Touch the display to plant seeds and tilt right to water them. Then shake to fertilize your garden. Budgie Rockstar. Touch the swipe bar when a note reaches the bottom of the screen to play the music. You rock, birdie! Mouse Chef. Touch the swipe bar on the left or right to catch falling ingredients. Avoid things you can't eat. And don't drop too many bun tops. Dinner is served. Chameleon Artist. Touch the swipe bar below the color you want for the flashing part. Touch the display to confirm your color selection. Then reveal your art. You're so creative. Gecko Superhero. Touch the swipe bar to catch flies with Gecko's tongue. Catch the big fly for more points. Easier said than done. Yuck! Mercat Pirate. Touch and hold the swipe bar to make Mercat swim up and release the swipe bar to make it swim down. Avoid obstacles, collect coins, and grab the treasure chest when you see it. Arr! Cat Dancer. Tilt left, moonwalk left. Tilt right, moonwalk right. Touch the swipe bar to spin. And when you're really ready to show off, shake to do a backflip. Meow, that cat has moves. Unicorn Party Animal. Touch the swipe bar to break the pinata and release all the Bitsy. Touch the swipe bar to add silly sound effects when they dance. That is a lot of games and a ton of fun. Had enough? Anytime you need to exit a game, all you need to do is close the pod and reopen it. 
In this section, we're going to teach you some of the important things you'll need to know to keep your Bitsy operating in tip-top condition. First, we need to show you how to access the settings menu. To adjust your Bitsy settings, all you need to do is swipe through the main menu until you see the settings icon. Then touch the icon to select. Once inside the settings menu, you can swipe left and right through the different sections to find the settings sub-menu you're looking for. First up, we're going to learn how to change the volume on your Bitsy. One tap will increase the volume, and each tap after will increase the volume more until you get to a mute setting. Next up, here's how to reset your Bitsy to start all over with its out-of-the-box factory settings. Caution! This will erase all of your collected pets and your progress. Simply swipe until you see the reset icon, which looks like this. Hold the Bitsy case level and upright. Then, touch and hold the swipe bar to start the countdown. Do not lift your finger until the countdown finishes and you hear the alarm sound effect. Your Bitsy is now reset! Remember, from earlier in the video, you'll need to swipe the swipe bar to exit the demo and start playing with your baby puppy. Lastly, it's important to know how to adjust your screen to keep your Bitsy performing at their best. To adjust your Bitsy screen, swipe until you see the Adjust Screen icon, which looks like this. Then, touch and hold the center of the swipe bar for two seconds to enter screen adjustment. Tap the right side of the swipe bar to move the image up. Tap the left side of the swipe bar to move the image down. Shake to reset to default. Then simply touch the flexible display to confirm. And last but not least, if you ever need to go back to a previous menu, all you need to do is swipe the swipe bar until you see the Go Back icon, which looks like this. Then touch it. In this section, we're going to demonstrate how to replace the batteries in your Bitsy. You're going to want to ask for a parent's help to tackle this job. Your Bitsy tells you when it's running low on batteries when it flashes this symbol. Before replacing batteries, be sure to shut the pod on your Bitsy, or your pet progress may be lost. First, you want to open the battery door with a screwdriver. A magnetic screwdriver helps pull the screw out, or a little shake can help the loose screw pop out. If used batteries are present, remove those batteries from the unit by pulling up on one end of each battery. Do not remove or install batteries using sharp or metal tools. Install the new batteries as shown here in the polarity diagram inside the battery compartment, like this. Then, replace the battery door securely. And again, we recommend that you close your Bitsy pod when you're not playing with it. It really does help your batteries to last longer. If your character is hovering in space and not displaying properly, you can often fix by tapping or pressing the flexible display. Closing the pod for a few minutes can also help bring the character back to a lower position. If tapping the flexible display doesn't fix the problem, wait 30 seconds for your toy to turn off while open and inspect the static flexible display to confirm that it is straight. If the flapper has been crinkled or pinched, try to bring it back to its original flat and level state. In general, try to be gentle with the flexible display to avoid any damage. There are a few things that aren't in the quick start guide that will also help you enjoy your Bitsy. Anytime you close and open your Bitsy pod, you quit the current activity you're doing and go back to the character you were playing with last. If you quickly close and open the pod while it's displaying a character, when you reopen the pod, you'll catch that character doing something silly. Another silly reaction to try is tapping the sections of the swipe bar like this to make your Bitsy jump and make a silly sound. Silly Bitsy! If you stop playing with your Bitsy, they will fall asleep and then the whole pod will turn off. To turn the pod back on, just shut the pod and reopen it again. And finally, there's a totally adorable surprise when you've collected all 15 Bitsy and evolved every one into a Super Bitsy. But you're just gonna have to wait and see what that is for yourself. That's everything you need to know to start having a blast with your Bitsy. For more info, go to bitsy.com for full quick start guide in all languages. Have fun!